This is Day of the Dead, 1985. Romero Director again. George A. Romero. Budget was about 3.4 million, they said. three. So now we're in the millions, okay? 1985. So once again, we covered a movie from 1932, White Zombie. 1968, Night of the Living Dead. 1978, Dawn of the Dead. 1985, here we have Day of the Dead. So once again, Day of the Dead. Let the people know what that movie is about. So real quick... This is super personal. Uh, Day of the Dead is my favorite film of all time. I'm not joking. Like, like this film is my favorite movie of all. I can watch this movie a thousand times and never get old and never get tired of it. I know every single line of dialogue. I know every cue. I know every character. But like this, this is my, this is Fro's ultimate favorite movie. But the movie, so this one's about Romero. He took it a different level because with Dawn, it felt a bit bigger. Um, you know, with the mall and the mall setting. Night of the Living Dead was a bit smaller with the farmhouse. But Day of the Dead, when you think about it, I think about 90% of the film is in a bunker. It's with these soldiers. And um, the thing why I love this movie so much is I think this is Romero's dialogue at his best. I think it's the best... Uh, the best written characters. We have a kick-ass lead female character, Sarah. She kicks ass. She's um, not taking anybody's shit. We have a great villain, Joseph Pilato, who's killing in his Captain Rhodes. One of my favorite villains of all time. Might be my favorite villain. And um, and everybody in this film has just such a great personality. Yes. Everybody's a great character. Everybody, Even the scumbags in this film have some of the best dialogue I've ever heard in a movie. Like, like we have Steel, Rickles. When they're going back and forth, they're calling... The, um, the crazy laboratory guy, Dr. Frankenstein, he's the one experimenting on the zombies. And the one that was different with this one is uh, Romero dwelled more into the memories of zombies. And zombies were kind of remembering who they were. Like, this, it, I can, this one's a little bit of a funky concept, but I think Romero did a great job with this. It was... Bub, the main zombie in this film, is my favorite zombie of all time. Really? All time. And and the reason why I think... I usually like my zombies mean and, and bloodthirsty and tearing out guts, but with Bub, it was like the most sympathetic zombie of all time. Like, you're like, yo, he's remembering who he is. I love the relationship between him and Dr. Frankenstein because um, Frankenstein's teaching him how to, like, little things like how the razor works, how the book, how books are read. And you see Bub taking interest. He even picks up a phone, tries to, like, talk to, like, his Aunt Felicia or something. And uh, it's the mo I think Romero killed it on this aspect, whereas it could have easily been really goofy. And, and I think it was a little bit goofier in a further film he did called Land of the Dead, uh -huh. which, which I still enjoy. People hate that one, but I really enjoy it. But um, that one was a little bit goofier on that aspect of zombies remembering stuff. I think Day of the Dead felt a little bit more like... I would say bleak, but more, more interesting and more darker. It felt more darker. Well, I was like, wow, like, like just how that's done and how the act Sherman Howard, how Sherman Howard's playing Bub is just fantastic. He's Bub is easily my favorite zombie. And, uh, day was different on that. It was, I think day might've been the first film where zombies kind of do remember stuff in a way, you know, and, yeah. and not all zombies, mainly Bub is the main one in the film that's remembering shit. But, um, and then later, I'm seeing zombies in later films where they're like, oh, you kind of remember how to open the doorknob. I'm, I'm like, that's all Romero. Yeah. That's all Romero started that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? So w w one thing that I want you to, uh, if you will, if not remind those that have seen it, but remind me, uh, um, was this doctor, I'm trying to remember, because out of all, all four of them that we talked about so far, um, this is the only one that's not coming to me right now. Uh, was he treating them to hopefully get them back to become normal? That that was Frankenstein's objective. It didn't work at the end of the film. It only worked with Bub. Like, he succeeded with Bub. But as far as the other ones, he said, since we're hunkered down in this bunker, and since we have no way of getting out, we're, like, one to a million. Like, like tech, on technical terms, all of us are, like, one to, like, a million zombies. He said the only way that he felt that he can get the zombies to to back down and to not go after us as, as uh, like looking at us like a pe like a pile of guts is to get them to remember who they are. And that was Frankenstein's route. And 
on paper it can seem goofy but on the film it's done well because he turns so psychotic he's yeah. like on his journey to trying to get this done he literally loses it he like he loses on he loses it on that uh journey trying to fight, figure out how we can trigger them to not eat us the, the, in this movie and if i'm correct because this is the question that I, i've asked you about the night of the living dead th does it do they tell us once again uh, how they became zombies i don't think he did but this one this one he he went into a little bit more detail but at the same time what i love about Ro romero is that he didn't outright say this is why they turn into zombies right, right. he left it in a cool way he left it to the audience to be like hey you know um put your two and two together what do you think and uh a little a little ambiguous he does feed us some information like the memory stuff and and some cool little thoughts like that but um for the most part i think what makes it a bit creepy is how ambiguous a little bit it is okay you know? i think it makes it creepy Creepy. The reason why I ask is because one zombie movie that is not on my list could have easily been on my list, but it didn't make it was I Am Legend. Okay. 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 Because Will Smith was a doctor. But in the very beginning, if you can recall, there was somebody who cured cancer. If, if you remember I Am Legend, uh, the, the lady said um, that's been interviewed. Uh, she said, well, we've been working on this for so long time. And then the, the journalist asked her, well, um, how many uh, patients have you uh, tried this on? And then I believe, I believe, don't quote me on it, but I believe she said, oh, like a thousand. She goes, oh, how many yeah, yeah. have been, that. Have been uh, healed? A thousand. He goes, so you found the cure for cancer? And she said, yes. And then it, all of a sudden, it's just like a desolate road in New York. So it kind of tells us that that shot didn't... It, it pan out as well, yeah, as, as well as they wanted it right. to. Right, so yeah, it, yeah. that kind of tells us, without telling us what happened. That's why I was asking... I don't recall in uh, a Day of the Dead if Romero ever told us how it how it happened. Yeah, it was like he did. I love that. Like he didn't flat out say this is why it happened. Right. You know, it was like he just went into like a really cool study with it. Like like trying to f figure out ways of how they operate instead of how uh -huh. they started, you know. Okay. Okay. And um, once again. That one was 1985. Now yeah. we're gonna go ahead and, and go and go ahead. And it's it's a it's personally froze nerdy favorite movie of all time. I can see people watching this like why, but it, it's it's super personal. It's just I think it's a fan. I give that movie an 11 out of 10. I think it's fantastic. It's just some of my favorite dialogue ever in a film ever. Okay, so remember, Why Zombie, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead are Bro's favorite. Okay. I said I would say that'd probably be my Mount Rushmore. More close. Yeah, I would say that's my Mount Rushmore okay. of zombies. Mount Rushmore of zombies. And, and three of these are George Romero's. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's my guy. That's my favorite filmmaker. I actually have, if you can't see, I have his name right here. R.I.P. George A. Romero. Uh, other than that, I want to thank, uh, once again, uh, Alfred for coming through. You know what? This dude is very, very knowledgeable. Uh, I, I, I feel like I have um, a video store on legs <laughs> that's how i can describe that's one him. of the best compliments ever that's that for a film nerd that's one of the best yes. compliments so uh, so much love much respect and thank you for coming through and sit, sitting down with me and having a drink with me in the balcony thank you brother i had a blast man I had a blast. likewise likewise